Right now, the next step is going to be displaying our items that are under each category. So we are going to create another view controller that uh, once we click on any of these cells will take us to this view controller and we will grab everything we have in Firestore uh, under this category. Uh, currently we have nothing there but we are going to design the view controller and then we are going to write the code in order to transition from the category once the user select any of it to the specific items uh, view. So let's go to our main storyboard and this is what we have so far and we are going to add another view controller here and this is going to be a table view controller so let's grab one and put next to it and what I'm going to do is to create a segue from our view controller here so that we can move from here to our newly created table view controller so select your view option uh, con control and drag here and this is going to be show segue select our segue and we're going to name our segue so my segue is going to be called from the view to the view so i can easily remember the name so it's going to be uh, category to items seg hit enter and make sure it stays there so now we can use the segue to transition from one view to the other view as soon as our user clicks on the any of the buttons any of the cells so uh, let's also design our cell so uh, our table view here Currently we have only one cell here, which is currently empty. And what we want to do is to display our items for sale. So if I jump to my ready application and uh, let's choose health for example, you can see how our cell looks like. And I have an image here. I have a title, I have description and the price of the object. So we are going to design the same thing. We will have an image, two labels on the left side and one label for the price on the right side. So let's change the size of our cell to be bigger so we can uh, have all this information in it. So I'm going to select the table view, not the cell. Make sure you select the table view from the left here. Go to measurements and uh, row height we are going to change and this is going to be 80 points and you can see that your cell automatically enlarges with it then we are going to need an uh, image view so let's drag an image view into our cell and I'm going to resize this and position it on the left and also we are going to need some labels so let's grab one label and then we're going to copy and paste the label. So that, let's start from the image view. Our image view is going to be 90 on 70. So we can go to our measurements to put the width on 90 and height to be 70 points. And let's move it a bit left. So we use our blue guidelines to set it. Then we have our uh, name label here and our name label uh, is going to be bold so it's uh, visible to our user that this is the name so let's make it bigger I'm going to copy and paste this and put underneath so that this is going to be our description and I'm going to make my description bigger because uh, we want to have the description in two lines so the height of my description label I'm going to set to be 45 points. Now let's move it up using our blue guidelines. And remember when we want to have more than one line to so make it dynamic, we're going to set the number of lines into uh, the number will be zero. But our uh, title here, I'm going to call this name. It will be one because we need only one line. 
and then we're going to change the uh, font of our uh, description here and this is going to be a type of footer and for our name I'm going to choose different and this is going to be a headline so we choose not the color we choose this system and this is going to be headline which is by default bold and the size is already there next uh, we need another label so I'm going to copy and paste this label here with our description remember to change the lines to one and the height we're going to set it to 31 which is the default if I'm not mistaking ah, it's the 21 default and this is going to be exactly in the middle of our cell so you can use the blue guidelines to set it in the middle and the alignment is going to be on the right side now this B is going to be our uh, price label so let's put some dummy price here for example 5000 just to see how many digits we need here and our uh, price is going to be not footer um, actually yeah let's let's keep it footer no footer is quite small let's go and put it system and I'm going to make it 14 points the size all right so um, let's leave the width to be something fixed because uh, our prices are not going to be very big and even if they are very big we are going to adjust the font in order to uh, fit our label here so I'm going to set the label to be 62 points instead of 80 that I have now and let's move it here and also select your cell and we are going to set accessory here disclosure indicator so we have a nice mark here and now we can use our view here to set our price label using remember our blue guidelines so this will help us to set our auto layout constraints easily and then we have to enlarge this and our label here okay so we have all our uh, UI elements so let's set our uh, constraints our image view is going to have standard width and height and also we want it to be 20 points from the left so we add these three constraints and then we click on the other one and we're going to horizontal it uh, vertically in the cell so it's going to be in the middle of our cell the same thing we are going to do with our uh, price here we want it always to be vertically in the middle of our cell so we add one constraint and then we want to set the width to be 62 and we want to have it let's have one point from the right side and now we have all blue guidelines so the next thing is our name and our label uh, for our description so let me quickly put here description so select the name and I'm going to set the constraint on the left to be 8 on top it will be 0 and uh, let's set this to first then the uh, width we are going to adjust according to our name uh, our price label here so we need to have some uh, distance in between them let's set our description first because it's bigger and easier to set somewhere right here so our description will have 8 on the left 11 points 11 and a half let's put it 11 points on the right 5 points at the bottom 
and it will have a standard height of 45 points. Click OK and you can see that all the constraints are set. Apart from our name, everything is blue now. So our name is missing a constraint to know where it should be. So what we can do is because our description already knows where it should be, we can set our name, we control and drag to our description and we can say here equal width so that our name will take uh, the width constraint and no, uh, we'll uh, use the number to know how wide it should be. So this is our user interface. I am going to add an image here from our assets. We have this image placeholder. So we're going to use this. And once we set the image, we are going to replace this image. So in case if any of the items doesn't have an image, uh, we are going to use the placeholder. So if you type image placeholder, it will appear automatically. So this will be our user interface for our uh, items uh, table view controller.